So we're going to talk a little bit about chalk pastel. How many people have used chalk pastel? Okay, so a couple of you. So a couple of you have used chalk pastel. The ones that we have, these are really, really nice. So they're a bit like the, um, the Conte in that they're a compressed color put into a stick. They do also make fine dust. So again, have a piece of paper towel on the side, you tap off onto, um, Make sure that like maybe your phone's put away because again, you don't want all that dust getting into your charging port. So eyes back up. So with chalk pastel, you have a lot of different colors to work with. Um, and again, you can do use the corners and get nice hard lines. You can use square edge here to get thicker lines. You can change that line quality by tilting as you go. You can do some cross hatching you can do different methods of filling. One thing I really enjoy about chalk pastel is like how fast, especially when the stick is this big, how fast you can just fill an area by using that broad side. You can take your paper towel, wrap it around your finger, and smudge. And in that way, do you see how much like I'm getting on my paper towel? I can actually take what's on my paper towel and keep coloring with it. So you can like little waste, little waste with this. Now again, tap off your excess with a paper towel. Now, one thing that's really exciting about chalk pastel is the blending aspect. Let's say I want to make an orange. I can take red. I can take my yellow oh i'm gonna do just a little bit more red a little little lighter and i'm going to take my yellow make a nice spot of yellow and blend it up in do you see how i'm starting to get that orange color in there you can take your your towel really make sure it's all nice and blended in there again it's easy to see all this dust and think i'm just gonna don't do that don't do it we don't want to be breathing in this dust we don't want the dust getting into our phones and into our electronics it's just not good now we can also do detailing with it we can Get some really good lines. We can go darker in some places by overlaying with black. We can go lighter. By overlaying with white. You can get your tints and your shades really, really easily. Now, 
you can see that it's so soft. So if you're considering doing atmospheric perspective, maybe see like maybe chalk pastel might be the way you get that blurry, far off, distant look. So in my composition, I want to use it in the sky. I'm going to turn it upside down here. It's a little easier to work at the bottom of my paper. I'm going to take this nice dark blue color. I'm going to put it into the sky here. And there's some complex shapes, so I'm going to use the sides of my, my chalk and really carve around those shapes I want to preserve. Now I'm using a tinted paper. So when I put the white on, you'll really see it. I want to blend in some white at the bottom of my sky. So I'll draw some in at the bottom. And I'll take my paper towel and I will blend down from my dark into the light area. Now, one of the fun things I like about chalk is it's really easy to get those clouds in there. So, it's got that blue down. You can toss that white right on top. Kind of get that that fluffy, plush cloud in there. These are much, high, much higher quality chalk pastels than I own. So I'm actually very impressed. Um, do be mindful as you're using these that they are um, really nice quality. So be gentle with them. that back around. You can see, kind of got some sky going. Want to add a little bit more blue. Just add a different blue right in the middle. You can actually go back, add a bit more color, and then blend it in. So it's very versatile. It's very forgiving. And again, don't, don't get those, those dusts all going everywhere. Oh, tap. Does anyone have any questions about chalk pastel? No? All right. Again, super great for using for the background of your environments. It really helps push the softness, really pushes things into the background. So by contrast, we have oil pastel. Has anyone used oil pastel before? So actually a few of you, um, oil pastel, it's not one that I've used often, but it has like really 
cool benefits to it. So this is kind of what we're looking at when you open up a, a pastel. Kind of reminiscent of a crayon. So you can really get nice, deep, vibrant color. You can go dark. If you want to blend, blend out lighter. Get those dimensional color. So I'm going to put some yellow down, carry in, blend on top. And this orange, I think, has a different quality to it than just using a regular old orange because it looks more rich and lively. Like this is orange that comes with it. This is the orange that you create. And this looks so much more interesting than this one. So once you've blended with the uh, oil pastel, you see how it's kind of got a bunch of color on it now? If, if you were like hoping for a pure yellow and you grabbed this out of the container, well, that's no good. So take a paper towel, just clean, clean that color mix off before you put it back. And always double check your color for any other color before you use it, just to save yourself some sanity. There's a lot of really nice colors in here. Um, I don't have a white on this in this pack. Grab that. I don't want in this one either. Oh, there we go. So I can do some blue. I can add a white to it on top. And it's just so thick and vibrant. You can add, you can actually start, if you want a really nice dark color, start with like a patch of black, nice and loose. And then add your color on top and you'll get a really deep color that has a lot of dimensionality to it. With how it goes on, you can take a paper towel and it has a small amount of blend to it. You can blend it together a little bit. If you're working on in oil pastels at home, uh, you can blend it with some oils like um, baby, baby oil or vegetable oil. Um, and it kind of makes it go really smooth. Of course, one of my favorite things to do with oil pastel is, I'm gonna clean the black off of here, is to make um stipple dots because they just show up so well all of your effort is there so if you're like drawing a bush in your foreground and you want lots of detail really fast you can do stipple dots and it just builds up that bush really fast another thing you can do with it um you can of course do your your cross hatching you can do detail work. So because it is so dark and it's easy to do detail because it's a harder medium, I'm going to use it on my environment in the foreground. I want to start I'm going to make this a little bush. So I'm going to start with some light yellow. 